Sweet Leaf is the brand name for the first and only great tasting natural zero calorie stevia based sweetener offered in America. It was first introduced in 1996 as a dietary supplement, then after some of the most stringent scientific research on its safety and its unique ultra pure formulation, Sweet Leaf Sweetener became the very first stevia based product to achieve grass status. Sweet Leaf Sweetener has a delicious sweet flavor and is the only sweetener in the world that is 100% natural with zero calories, zero carbs, and a zero glycemic index. Stevia is derived from a plant that grows as a small shrub in parts of Paraguay and Brazil. Stevia has been used to sweeten beverages and medicines since pre-Columbian times and is now here to sweeten your fabulous recipes. Tonight we're visiting Valsi Restaurant where pastry chef Matthew Lotus will be creating some delicious and unique recipes using this natural sweetener. Let's go into the kitchen. So our first recipe today is going to be for the apple strudel. The ingredients are the sweet leaf stevia sweetener, our currants, rum, raisins, sour cream, walnuts, breadcrumbs, and apples. So the first thing we'll be doing is peeling our apples. So now we're going to cut our apples. You're going to core it and then thinly slice it. So after we've peeled and cut our apples, we're going to add all of our wet ingredients. We're going to add our sour cream. and we're going to add our rum. We're going to mix this together. We're going to coat all the apples. Then we're going to add all of our dry ingredients. We're going to start with our sweet leaf stevia sweetener, the zero calorie alternative to sugar. Our currants, raisins, and our walnuts. We'll mix all of this and we'll follow that up by adding the breadcrumbs. And then evenly mix this together. And this will form our filling for the strudel. Now we have our strudel filling. We're going to make the strudel itself. We're going to use some phyllo dough. Typically we use a strudel dough here, but this is going to be a lot simpler for you. So we'll lay two sheets out, we'll grab a napkin, we'll have some butter, and we'll sprinkle a little bit of butter on the phyllo. Not much. Then we're going to use our sweet leaf sweetener. It's a zero calorie alternative. We'll sprinkle a little bit on. Then we'll repeat with the dough again. We'll do this two more times. Now we'll add our filling. So you'll go a few inches from the bottom. Make this as tight as you can. Then you're going to lift the napkin up and roll it over. So once you have it wrapped, then you're going to put it on a pan. Cookie sheet with some parchment paper. You're going to brush some butter on it. And then you're going to take your sweet leaf and sprinkle a little on top. Then you put the strudel in the oven. You'll put it in a 450 degree oven for approximately 15 minutes until it's golden brown. So after 15 minutes, check it. It looks great. And this is what you have, your apple strudel. 
So now you're gonna let it cool for a few minutes. Then you can slice it, put it on your platter, and that's your apple strudel for the holidays. And for our next recipe, we're gonna be making stollen, a traditional Christmas bread. So first we added our cake flour and our all-purpose flour. Now we'll add our currants, our sliced almonds, raisins, and our chopped dried apricots. We're going to add some vanilla. We're gonna slice the vanilla bean in half and scrape out the seeds. Then we're going to add our sweet leaf, stevia sweetener, one package, a little bit of fresh cinnamon, some fresh nutmeg, some ground clove, and the zest of one lemon. We're gonna put the dough hook on and we're gonna mix this together on a slow speed just so it combines. So for the next part, we're gonna add all of our wet ingredients. We're gonna add our butter, our milk with our already dissolved yeast, our rum, and our eggs. It's one egg and one egg yolk. We're gonna mix this on a slow speed for approximately four minutes. After four minutes, we're gonna increase it to a medium speed for two minutes. So traditionally, this was always made with yeast, flour, oil, and water. To bring more flavor to the stolen, the medieval bakers actually petitioned the Pope to add more. So at that point, they were able to add butter, and over the years, the recipe has changed to include dried fruits. So after the six minutes, we'll remove our dough. We'll set it on our pastry board. We'll knead it a little bit. So we'll place it in the bowl. We'll wrap it in plastic, and we'll place it in the refrigerator overnight. So the next day, you'll remove it from the refrigerator. It smells delicious. You'll cut it into three equal parts. So what you'll do is you will shape it into a rectangle. So then you're going to roll it into the shape of a tube. And that's your stolen. So then you'll place it on a cookie sheet. You will cover it in plastic, loosely. You don't want it too tight. So after you wrap it in plastic, you'll set it in a warm place and you will let it rise about 50%. You don't want it to double in size like most breads. So after about 30 minutes, once it's risen, then remove the plastic, give it a little bit more shape. So then you'll put it into the oven at 325 for about 25 minutes. Then after about 25 minutes, you'll pull it out of the oven and perfect color. Set it down. Then I'll dust it with a little bit of sweet leaf. And then that's it. Ready to slice and enjoy. Whether swirling sweet leaf in your coffee, savoring it in your favorite recipes, or sprinkling it on top of your favorite foods, fans across the globe have helped Sweet Leaf Sweetener achieve sweet success, and now it's here in America. Sweet Leaf Sweetener is available at thousands of stores across the country. 
You can find out more at sweetleaf.com.